Hello. I've finished another Net Galley book and it's by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. And I met her a few years ago when I was teaching because she came and did a talk to the pupils about the Girl of Ink and Stars. And uh, she loved it, Heidi, really was. And this is her second adult novel and it's called The Dance Tree. And it's based on historical events because it's set in Strasbourg in 1518 when there was a dancing plague, when women were overtaken by some sort of mania, religious fervour. They just danced and danced and danced and wouldn't stop. Their feet were bleeding and they were caught up in it. In this book, the same thing is happening. It starts with one woman and then more and more and more join. And the 21, the, the council who oversee the city, the, the 21 they're called, they decree that the devil must be danced out. And so they hire musicians to keep these women dancing. They don't let them stop because the devil has to be danced out. And they also execute women who they think are false dancers who just gone to have a good time. They haul them out and execute them by drowning. This story focuses on four women, Lisbeth, um, Agneta, Ida and Sophie. Lisbeth is pregnant. She's miscarried lots of children before. And so there is a fear that this child might also not live. She looks after the bees for the family. She's the beekeeper. Her mother-in-law is Sophie and Lisbeth doesn't feel that she's accepted by Sophie, that there's a, a relationship there. Her best friend is Ida, who is married to one of the 21 and has children galore. And into these, into this comes Adneta, or she's been away for seven years at a nunnery doing penance. For what, Lisbeth doesn't know. It's not talked about by the family. But she is returning after seven years. And so the whole of the family dynamic is going to change. And we find out later on in the story exactly what the crime was. But Lisbeth all this time is unaware. The 21 decides that the church wants the bees because the bees are taking from the church. So the farm are actually stealing. So Lisbeth's husband goes off to try and plead their case. The, the bees are wild. You know, you can't tell a bee where to feed and where not to feed. And so the women are left on their own. And it's the story of the women. They resist all the while. They, to, to, they resist being controlled, but they are powerless, as women were at that time. And you have the relationships between the women evolving and changing. The writing in this is absolutely gorgeous. The descriptions of the bees and the peace when... Lisbeth goes to, to tend the bees. It's evocative, it's tender. As is the discussions between the, the women when they're talking to one another. You've got real tender relationships forming between them. It's a story of self-discovery. Lisbeth learns a lot about herself in this book. And it's not story that sort of shies away from violence as well, violence against women, um, physical, verbal. And as well, you've got themes of motherhood, of losing children, of 
sexuality of madness of superstition it is a lovely read and you know to be transported back to 1518 to this time great so that is the dance tree by Kieran Millwood Hargrave it comes out in May so look out for it so happy reading take care and bye Thank you.